Go dancing down by the docks tonight and the UV lights of the clubs can reveal more than you bargained for. The European yellowtail scorpion is really lethal, but you wouldn't want to lie around in this gutter after a skinfall. There are now three separate colonies of scorpion living in London, some several thousand strong. Some immigrants arrive on boats, others by train. This man is hunting aliens that are sneaking their way in using the old Victorian canals. Crayfish Bob has ideas for big business down here. He wants to catch the invaders for us all to eat. But in these murky depths, he's stumbled upon a gang war with crayfish invaders from both Europe and America fighting over territory. This underworld is the scene for a major turf war. I would think in this darkness, this would be a very attractive habitat. This old brickwork, the chances are they'll find crevices and hide away in. Yeah, I would think that this, uh, this was a fairly popular place to reside. Well, that's a red swamp. As you see, red swamp likes living in swamps and is somewhat red. What we have is four different species of crayfish. They're all invasive, none of them should be here. The old gang of white claw folklore, gone years ago. And it's like a gang here and a gang there, and it's all about territory. The serpentine, for example, used to be absolutely teeming with Turkish crayfish. But now the signal crayfish have come in. Hampstead Heath, once Turkish territory, red swamp moving. It's like the sort of gangland wars of the 60s. The gangs are on the move. In Maida Vale, a red swamp has moved on a signals patch. A punch-up is inevitable. Signal crayfish fights dirty. He carries with him a plague that lays low all other crayfish in his path. He's already wiped out the native crayfish and his gang is set to take over the whole of London. He's killed most of our native white claws in many areas. He's teeming on the bottom of the rivers. Yeah, it's, it's quite likely to do what it's done in the rest of the UK and become dominant. In the waterways of London, a new order is being established. All over London, it's the same. The ancient residents and immigrants are pioneering a new future with us in the city. This unnatural habitat is home for a new generation, and they're growing up in a place that suits them just fine. And city life can be a bit easier than making a living in the countryside, especially in winter, when there's a little extra food to be found. Modern life usually creates a barrier between us and the natural world, but just occasionally, technology brings us closer together. Ernie has his own special relationship with the foxes he feeds around his night watchman's cabin. Now, Hop, come on up. It's the shouting out that actually does it. They seem to get to recognise the voice. Then he sits back for his own reality TV show, Live. And like Lillian and her foxes, and Cyrus and his sparrows, he thinks of the wild animals as friends. You can hear them actually walk across the waybridge. And you sort of look up and think, what's that noise? And obviously look at the 
camera and you can actually see them coming across. Is that one feed in now? Got one feed in on the left hand corner. Ern is seeing an important twist in the story. An old hand at urban living is threatened by a new migrant to the city. If the fox is feeding first, and the, they obviously can sense the badger and they can hear it, they will look around and simply back off. They walk away. As his way bridge reveals, this badger comes with a formidable appetite. 10.2 kilo, that one went. 